Hey friends, good morning and uh, welcome to Watcher of Realms. It's start of something today, so I'm going to record uh, stuff showcasing the celebration begins. And there's a lot of things happening. It's supposed to happen, so let's find out. I've just started the app and as today is my 95th day, very interesting game that reminds me every day that I sign in. So there's a reward and there are all useful rewards. So let's collect the energy that enables me to play the game. Okay, so <clears throat> these are the new heroes that are coming in this particular week at different, different time. Anora, Yamiret, Helga, Lucius, and Ares. Everybody's very excited about Anora, Yamiret, because they bring something very unique to the gameplay experience. Of course, Helga, because Helga is going to be available through shards. You will find out today because the calendar has become, must have become available. And Lucius is total badass character that many of the content creators who are older and have been playing the game since a year i'm this is my third month uh so uh, or rather i'm three months old <laughs> i'm still discovering quite a few things but i have now got a fairly good hang of things and hence my content creation complexity pertaining to the game is going to come out more uh, for discussion. So yeah, Lucius is one very good uh, hero that impacts the game. And um, I love the to use the term impact because heroes can do damage, buffs, debuffs, heal, cleanse, give ailments. Those are all impacts. So one of the key things is how much impact the hero does and in how many different ways does he do it. So that is the key and which impact is the in thing today and what are the range of impacts that are in play today. Then there are certain futuristic impacts which a typical game progresses and we will have a discussion pertaining to that in a separate video uh, to you know discuss some strategic things that the game will look at as I understand the game better. So that's that. So in the events notice center, the events or the game news, the hero um, discussions and details are already up. Then hero commercials, there's the videos, which is on YouTube of Watcher, and Ch uh, uh, Watcher of Realms channel. They can be accessed straight from here by tapping and you know, you go to the browser, you're directed to the browser, you can watch. So that's that. I'm gonna close this and move into the game. Collect skin and mount here. So uh, there is a whole host of gala quests that arrive, which bring a shard of Barba. Uh, collect 30 shards to activate this mount and he brings certain benefits to the gameplay. And then is this one. So she is currently in this form the best epic in the game. Yes, there are many people who say Dolores, but if you don't have Dolores and you have her, you'll be able to progress forward in the game. If you have Dolores and if you don't have her, you'll not be able to progress forward in the game. So that's the difference that showcases that she is a step or just a notch above Dolores. Dolores's support buff is amazing. And I come from a different game where there are many heroes that are providing buffs. So that's where, you know, for me, it was like, what is the big deal about Dolores? But damage is the key and she covers the whole map. Nobody is in the map safe when she is charged and firing her ultimate. She is going to reach every corner. So amazing hero, my favorite. And now she becomes totally steamy in this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, that's that. I'm going to click this off and go back to that particular section because obviously I will activate that. Let's do the collection because today is Monday. So we go into the shop. 
we collect the tiny freebies, energy is always welcome. Oh, that's brilliant. Because the thousand gold coins means squat. <laughs> there are, of course, deals that are out here in tune with the things that are being offered. So that's that. Okay, I'm going to go to Tide, collect here because I'm expecting. This is a very exciting one for me because I want to get my uh, last epic uh, and above Demon Soldier in so that I can actually proceed forward in Odyssey. <clears throat> and yesterday I got one. So from 8 I moved to 9. I'm looking forward if I can get somebody else. Yes, so I have got two. Now, will they activate is what I need to see because these are, and it's nice to see that more and more are adding up. Something in the talent I can add up, let us see. Brilliant. Let's add. I took that because there are multiple and uh, yeah, I'm still below the BP, but we're getting there. Uh, now I go to, this has got refreshed, so we will see, there is some kind of a gift, so let's collect from the hits that I made, what have I got? Okay, <clears throat> all very useful. This is really useful because it helps and these are helpful in terms of getting those gears and various other things improved so and the gems are always welcome so that's that nothing over here because i didn't do anything <clears throat> i didn't reach the second tier so i get to whack and should do a better job today i mean this time let's see hmm Here also, some of the things are the th things that I can easily farm, they become available. I mean, game economy has to be saved and maintained, so I guess. Uh, okay, yesterday, of course, I cleared 10,000. So I was able to get my clearing the 10,000 reward in Nightmare 3. Now I have to have buddies within that come together to knock off Nightmare 3. We don't have such a strong guild, so I have no hurries to do it now. But let's see, <clears throat> sometime in future, as the guild expands and develops. Okay, so let's clear this. Also, there's a good potential to have a lot of guild coins come up. So, because it's the beginning of the week, I'm still collecting. We get to acknowledge each other as friends for using the hero assist, which I did early on. There is a quest. Let's find out what Idril is asking for. So, gear raid 2. I have to go and collect two of these adventure medals, which I will do later. It gets me those resources, which is really useful. I'm doing all this because I will show showcase certain things that are going on. Let's go and collect over here. So hero training. I Somebody <clears throat> did a last minute dash because I was made, making content for my other part of the game. The other game that I play, which is uh, what I chose to complete because today is a very important day within that game. And getting that content out was important because that's what my base looks forward to. Otherwise, this was already in my bag because I have heroes ready to suddenly create a burst and pick up. Here, I have was already... Yeah, I still am, so... This hasn't completed, sorry. In my mind, it was like it got completed. This is gear rate 2. So I have to clear gear rate to 19 so that I can do proper farming of those artifacts, those, those gears in this. Okay, <clears throat> so there is, 
Uh, yeah, let's go here. Make that one purchase. So that's happened. We go here. Yeah. Who is it? Towers Scholar White, Towers Scholar. Oh, actually, let me check. How's the situation of the White Tower Scholar? I already have <clears throat> him active. So there's absolutely no urgency to use those coins. If any of these other fellows show up, then I can. Yeah, I'm sitting at nine. And this is the Odyssey quest progression I was talking about. Okay. So let me go over here, collect my raid rewards. Oh, nice. Summon is useful. Let's collect the stamina portion. And I have enough coins so I can pick these also. So there's a good quantum of uh, cheap uh, summon crystals that become available. What's the situation of the last one? I want to see. Yeah, this one I pick up immediately because that's something rare and available cheaply. What is there? Okay. This also I pick up because it's useful. <clears throat> And I've got good amount of XP available to farm. I have to go over here. Something is in the mailbox. Okay, the game informs. Oh, there's something else also. So there is this emote available. Let's collect that. This emote becomes handy for chat over here so you can see it has shown up i tapped it and it popped out okay that happens um okay so ta -da 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 -da. what's over here the usual stuff that is we yeah immortal codex has opened up so this is something similar to the previous one they all open up with two days gap and uh, there's a redeem shop certain uh, benefits you can get by getting those points and uh, there's some really cool stuff that can be got from these points so my first priority is obviously to pick up the 10 ancient uh, summoning shards and then subsequently i go then it's going to be consuming this um <clears throat> yeah so that's nice there is a leaderboard for new fellows that is shown it's all healers if you notice uh to be able to withstand this particular stage so hopefully this time i should get a little better score because my healers are more reinforced and i have a better idea of how to go about and do it but this is where i get as a newbie an idea as to what heroes to take and be able to put to use so that's that also there is no hurry one can do this uh, so this is going to be active for the next um, 15 days so i can take the next 10 days or rather 15 days almost 15 days and 22 hours so 16 days total so i can take time to complete those heroes prepare specific gears and line them up for a hard hit so there's also no massive hurry a new player could start and reinforce and prepare the heroes over the next 15 days and go for this so that's that and you get your indicator what kind of stuff it is and you there there is no number of tries limitation you can just keep trying so that helps improve the score uh okay let me 
one second. There's something else that has to be done. <clears throat> yeah. So I will skip and collect this so I can showcase certain things. Basically, I wanted to showcase engraved ring aspect because there is certain, uh, that, that's one aspect that is available for four days to be able to utilize within the game. And uh, I was ready to put certain heroes, level up certain fellows who I needed to suddenly do a burst, but it got busy somewhere else. Uh, what did I want? Yeah, I want to go over here and pick these fellows using the gold coins that I have so I can complete one more part of the daily quest. So. I don't pick up cook. Anything with gems, you're not, you don't need to. I mean, he is totally useless. You want to get him free from within the game. If you do your free summons also. So there's absolutely no need for that. There are free refreshers available, which gives me access to this insignia, which helps promote heroes. The game is a little slow. I think many people are onto the server, so that slows the whole thing down, of course, my device. So I play on the iPad and hence, oh, wow. When that is available for free, <coughs> when I say free, gold coins come from within the game, so they're not purchased <coughs> using any kind of a currency. So I complete this at the beginning of the day. And then I, <clears throat> it helps me, I'll show you. Since it's the beginning of the week, it helps me clear off two quests with these heroes that I'm picking up. That's why I'm patiently collecting them. Okay, so it's on to the gem, so all the free stuff is collected. Now I go over here, I have the shortcut available, all these fellows, I quick star up. And they all turn into two stars, so I have leveled up a hero three times. Just one hero if I had done three times, that gets me that. Then, this comes in, I do this, and... Oh, so the epic requirement wasn't there today. So I go and I collect. So I've got enough to showcase the rest of the stuff will happen when it happens. There is nothing to summon. So please avoid summoning and leave for things to come up on the 27th, which is three days from now. Uh, what is it over here? We have people reaching out to be friends because I keep clearing the not active ones regularly. And let's go to the first anniversary. <laughs> so here there is a specific video that is made for me and my journey in this game. So we will look at that. So I click share and So what have I done? Yeah, these are the summons, number of heroes unlocked. Highest BP is with Soul Cadence. He came very early for me and really helped me. Uh, raid challenges that I have done have been fairly good. Monster kills, in Tide, Goblin King. So I've done good amount of farming and that's about it. So. And uh, this is the first anniversary celebration section. So first I'm going to do is, yeah, I have to listen to the game because the game ensures that you progress forward in a way. 
So let's go in. King Horse is communicating. I've kept the noise off, music off, because that just becomes too much. So story chapter. He's engaged in battles and there are these battle options that are there which I will go through later. They've got alpha, beta and stuff like that. So that's that. So you clear this and you move to a higher one. So I'm going to get out of this. Um, then uh, there is something that opens in four days time. Story chapter beta and then the eternal spire after seven days from now so in that's uh six days so six days 22 hours then there is a shop which has all the stuff that you get from here you can spend in this particular shop to collect various things so the ones below which are available for a cheaper quantity of the coins or whatever that currency uh, shop currency is is uh, your regular gameplay stuff and the one when you see higher is for the higher ones. So I'm glad that there are good quantity of shards available, 12 of them, which means two uh, ancient summon crystals can be uh, assembled. Then we have Helga shard available. So there's 20 of them, five each. So I get to buy 20 of them from here. There are two very important artifacts that are available. They are not cheap, so they will be useful. This is again very useful because I can create artifacts. Obviously RNG will decide which one pops out uh, and various things. So my priority is going to be this one, collecting her shards and we'll go to the summon portal to see what's the cost she has. But meanwhile, before I proceed forward, I will do the sign in. So there is a 14, 21 day sign in that has started. A event ends in 21 days, 22 hours. The first 15 day sign in that has started, there are one, two, three, four. So 11 uh, blue regular summon shards and uh, three, four, five, and five ancient ones. And the coins again are 1900 when I total them. So there's a good quantity of stuff that is going to just be available by signing. So you basically have to just come over here, tap, you've signed in. That's it. Nothing else. So as you sign in daily, you get that. Yeah. I've logged in for seven days, so I get this coin. So yeah, as I complete this, I will go to the redeem shop. I still have 22 days. To complete that brave quest has started this is for your regular gameplay you're going to loot meteorites and a gear to build forward so you get all these rewards <clears throat> for doing that newbie we already went engraver so this is the part that i wanted to show that uh, i have to do this what is shown in the figure over here and there are five progressions uh, there are rewards. So at the end, there is a divine summon crystal. So uh, from daily signing of quests, these coins become available. And as I collect, completed some quests, I have got 25. So I completed five quests. Each quest is giving me five coins. So what I'm going to do is when I stamp, I click stamp once, it goes and stamps on some place. So it's completely random. So I basically have to stamp and collect some and I hope that uh, according to this particular design uh, some of the stamps can happen and uh, what I can do is since this is not in tune and I can see that the place where this coin has I have an option of swap so when I click swap I get to swap but I don't want to do it right now I want to first uh, stamp uh, uh, one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to stamp eight coins. Why? 
so that I know that all the positions have been filled up. If any of the coins fall into the positions which is shown in the diagram, then I don't need to you know waste uh, resources for that particular swap. So let's do that. Of course, they will ensure, okay, one has fallen into place. Oh, they're all going in a different corner. <laughs> Two, so that helps me not requiring to swap. <laughs> so how many have I got? I've got seven <clears throat> in place. Let's do the last one too. Yeah, even that did not fall in. Fair enough. <clears throat> To swap, I'm going to swap one. So let's swap. This is going to come over here. Confirm swap. And that's that. So <clears throat> that ensures that I am able to put it as early as possible because then I can move to the next one and then I can move to the next one. So what typically is going to happen is I would like to a plan it out in such a way obviously there's a lot of rng that is involved so i would like to plan it out in such a way that i am able to reach the final uh spot that i have got time i've got today and another four days to reach that particular spot and get that uh demonic crusade has started so all new future of demon soldiers, command your soldiers, challenge, conquer various heroes. This I'm really glad that has happened. But I don't have the other option. So I will go and see. Okay, so there is a good chance of me actually completing. So I'll see that. Immortal Codex has uh, come in. So with its rewards. So I already went there. So both the reminders come from here, which is really nice. I'm really happy about this because this gives me a chance to actually move forward. Faster, I have got. So I basically covered everything over here. Uh, okay, so sign in done. Anniversary, we have covered this also. I also get to uh, download that particular video. So um, that's cool. Uh, more events automatically takes me over here. I'm going to also run through what is on the way so all the stuff engravers we saw this we saw sign in we saw so it's already there tuesday and wednesday is going to be a silent period in the game and then thursday is where the action starts so thursday is when argent summoning comes uh anora exclusive event that's 15x drop rate and guaranteed within 250 summons so Anora is going to come with Idril. There are, whoever doesn't have Idril will be very thrilled to get her. Um, and Anora obviously is going to be available uh, if the normal is X. 15 times that particular X is the percentage of getting the legendary Anora. You could get her in the first summon or the first few summons. Or if you don't get her in 250 summons, you surely are going to get uh, a legendary hero. But apart from that, whatever you get, end of it, if you haven't got an aura, because this is an aura's summoning, then the 250th is an aura. And um, so there are a lot of people who are going to, players, content creators who are going to share how they went about it. There's obviously a strategy in place that all pulls are not even going to happen on Thursday when an aura arrives. There is no hurry. You don't have any specific benefit. You wait for Friday because then you can combine it with this one where Frostbone Invocation of Spirits, where there are quite a few uh, heroes that are becoming available. He is a very rare, um, uh, what do I say, a epic hero, and but a very good and important epic hero. So he is becoming available. So quite a few people are going to aim for that. Aries, a lot of people are not very gung-ho about this fellow. So we'll find out why. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, but he is a legendary. So obviously there is a benefit. Lucius is a top hero. He 
obviously does burst damage and buff dispel, which means he brings in a support aspect apart from direct impact of damage. And plus he's from the Piercer Marksman family. So that's that, but he's part of the Watcher uh, faction, which means the Watchers get, Watchers get really a very good uh, uh, hero uh, to join Idril and uh, Brienne uh, to uh, Marksman to whack around. He is still a very broken and a tough crazy magic hero so he is becoming available he was he was so powerful that he was nerfed and despite the nerf he's fairly good still so yeah nerfs happen in this game also so friday is where everybody has worked their plans to be able to um, do the summons because then there are multiple portals that become available now i'm going to go into the shard part and let's see how many are required. Helga is a brilliant hero. She is a fighter and a magic hero. She joins the club of few heroes that have got a massive range that they cover uh, by being fighters. And she does that. And in the hero card, you can basically tap here and you get to see the hero special as to what the hero does and how they execute their special or fire their special. This reminds me of uh, IOR because that's how he fires the swords. She's firing her thing. And uh, yeah, she's part of the Esoteris. This is the one um, faction where I don't have a lord, um, either anybody. There's an epic lord which is really extremely rare and he still hasn't shown up. So that's that. Uh, that would be really because the moment the Lord comes, there's a massive, you see over here, there's a straight buff, increases faction team members, basic attributes by 10%. So this is straight 10% buff of all basic attributes. It reduces faction team members skill costs by 15%. That also is a buff because if you're reducing the skill costs, that's a buff in a way. So that's that. Uh, okay. Having said that, she is a good hero. And let's find out how much she is going to cost. So I'm going to go out. And, oh, she has not become available over here. I have pulled <coughs> Micah. So Micah has vanished from here. My plan is to pull one abomination using the heroes that I have. And uh, that should be fun because I can take him to Awaken 4, mine is at Awaken. And I'm not in a crazy hurry because there's nothing absolutely broken or crazy at Awaken 4. So I'll do it. There are resources required elsewhere. And uh, that's that. But her shard is going to become available to be assembled. So collection starts as soon as possible. Okay, um, I think I've covered quite a bit. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I'm still irritated with the hero training second ranking, but that's totally fine. Um, I've been collecting some free and saving on the crystals after the last boom boom. And you can see I have ended up collecting 23 or 33 more, which is nice it's going to keep collecting till uh 20 uh, till thursday so for the next three days and we'll go for anora mm, okay <clears throat> i have xp bonus that's available still i filled on i use the gold uh, bonus to fill as much gold as possible that's where my stamina went xp is available so I will do a little bit of XP farming to ensure that I don't need XP <coughs> excuse me, from any, but I have free XP available from one of the invites. So I have not tapped and taken it, but I can take it anytime. So I don't have to spend for XP. Spend for XP also comes from within the game. So it's nothing. It's just economizing. I have to do this. Uh, of course, 
no this is also useful so no but there is a lot of crap sitting over here which i'm not using so let's get rid of that get 24 coins which is nice there's a preparation for war so that's that i'm extremely happy that my soldiers are improving this is the new fellow to join and uh, hence that is seriously cool they are speedy and fast and they help overrun and overwhelm the opposition so that helps i'm going to also try this particular hero i did not try so he is airborne and i would like to use him in certain way in the next war so that's that so i am very keen to have this one and uh, this one so if i can uh, get these fellows active that will be absolutely cool i currently don't have because they are really cool to do the things uh, from the perspective of uh, hit from far um, archers and mages so i have four i need six more for him to open up but we're getting there he is also another good one that i would like to activate but i'm still far from that and this one too because he is a healer legendary healer that would come in really handy okay so i think i've covered everything that i can think of in the game yeah uh, that has started off today there's a new void rift that starts i cleared elite so i was able to pick up everything from there now i'm going to move into the hard stage which is tough even for me i'm still building my teams and my gear weapons as i would call but let's see the mount i would like to get that mount and hence that would be <clears throat> really helpful and there are these different mounts that are available there is nemesis this is a chance to immediately clear any stage that allows auto fight okay so that's the benefit of nemesis this is the normal one that's available and this is the mount that I would like to get when obtaining glaring meteorites in the void two extra ones will be granted okay so that's the good part this is the benefit he basically ensures that you get some good stuff from uh, good loot good rewards from there yeah <clears throat> this is really handy because if a stage allows auto fight then i don't need to and i did use auto fight uh to uh, Clear, I'm not going to knock. I will go into the hard one this time. Uh, okay, this is a weekly thing. So it refreshes every week. So one can use it for farming too. If you are still coming up in the game, then like this week, I use this for farming, white. This is the third week that I have played the white. And the first, sec and the second week, I cleared the first and the second, uh, a portion of the second. And that is, I cleared in the first week normal, then elite I cleared in the second week, except the last part, which was phase three. I cleared in this week, the whole thing and also the phase three. So now I will go for the hard. Uh, okay, so that's that. Yeah, I think I've covered everything. I'm going to sign off. These are the things available. So anybody who is looking forward to being new is uh, uh, and downloading the app is most welcome to do so. I will um, request you to use my code, which is O H R D G O B six I W. <clears throat> Discord uh, gives the benefit to anybody who is downloading the app with various additional rewards and it tags you with me and uh, as you can see Eminem who's 26 so progression I get some number of coins which I get to redeem uh, I'm reaching the limit inside over here but it's still always beneficial because if they show up something else 
I will be able to use those coins, but it's a complementary and a collaboration. So both the newbie gets uh, certain rewards, additional rewards, and the person that he is or she is tagged to gets certain rewards. So please use the code. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Cheers.